but we have to open our show with um, some really tragic news actually it's all been happening over the last few hours as i've just been finishing up work um it's obviously now been confirmed that pmb rock um the well-known rapper has unfortunately passed away um he was a victim of a robbery um in la earlier today and there was a video being shared on twitter actually a queer gruesome video of him essentially lying in a pool of blood being attended to by people that were in the restaurant um and the story goes that he was in there with his um with his lady and they were having some food before i guess they were heading home because that that chicken and waffle place is quite popular because it's on the way to the airport or something along that kind of lines and he was in there with his jewelry always watches on and i guess the lady um unbeknownst to her or you know not remembering how to move correctly um incorrectly decided to upload their location so basically tagged the location that they were at in terms of the roscoe chicken and waffles and then the story goes that the people that were watching her account basically then got the drop on them came to the restaurant to rob his jewels he resisted and they ended up shooting him and then taking his jewels anyway regardless so um that's what ended up happening and i guess when the video was out there a lot of people were hoping that he would pull through because he was taken to a hospital and he wasn't pronounced that i've seen but if you would have saw the video you would have seen that you know he was really in a pool of blood like there's so much blood coming out of him and considering how small and slight he is you can imagine being shot more than three times you know close range um in the chest you wouldn't really imagine anybody would be surviving that but regardless of all of that um it's such a shame really real big shame because from what i know pmb rock i'm not that too familiar with his music listen to a couple of his mixtapes here and there but for the most part one thing that i always got away i got i took from him similar to like someone like a russ where maybe you don't listen to their music but you kind of take away from them their personality and their humanity and a lot of people had always good things to say about um, pmb rock like is he somebody that a lot of people in the industry have a lot of time for um, i'm sure he does a lot of writing and producing back in, behind the scenes also but he just seemed to be somebody that everyone kind of had a lot of good things to say about you didn't really hear a lot of people kind of hating on him for the most part he didn't necessarily be he, he didn't really strike me as somebody that was overly involved in gangs or sets or whatnot he was just kind of living his life making music and kind of living the dream and that's the really sad part of it because i feel like in some ways especially when it comes to hip-hop especially in la with the music being so intrinsically tied to gang culture it does make some sense even though it's still sad when people who are tied to the streets are kind of uh, unfortunately slain right it does make some sort of sense because the people they hang around with maybe because of crud they've done in the past i think i remember a rapper called little zay said that recently um he's got a song out at the moment with little dirk called uh, fuck my cousin part two i think and i think he said recently in a no jumper interview something along the lines of like um i think adam 22 asked him oh um so and so said this about you blah 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 and he's like yo i don't even want to know who it was i'm sure i have many enemies like you know i done i did a lot of bad stuff when i was coming up like before i started to take music properly i robbed people i jacked people i probably you know fucked with their baby mothers and stuff like he was very kind of adamant on it like that's part of the street life and i know it's probably gonna catch up with me or something like that right is it gonna catch up with me or i'm gonna be able to live to fight another day and i guess when you're a street guy you kind of always had that in the back of your head especially if, if you become a reformer street guy you know that some people you know that you know there's some things that you've done in your past that they they would never be forgiven right especially if bodies were dropped and stuff um but with pmb rock i never kind of got that feeling with him um, so it's really unfortunate this whole situation but I'll read quickly the LA Times article um, rapper PMB Rock fatally shot during a robbery at Roscoe Chicken and Waffle it says as follows PMB Rock the Philadelphia rapper best known for his 2016 hit Selfish was fatally shot during a robbery at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles restaurant in South Los Angeles on Monday afternoon law enforcement told, sources told the Times and allegedly according to all people who live in that sort of area that specific location of Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles is in the hood but it's also on the way to the airport so a lot of people um stop by that location to grab some food before they head out or to eat some food there before they head out so it, it you know there are various reasons why people like him would be somewhere like that but i guess that's the kind of sad part about it it continues los angeles police captain kelly muniz said that the, the shooting took place at 1 15 p.m at the famous e3 on main street and manchester avenue she would not identify the victim rock 30 whose real name is rakeem allen had been at the restaurant with his girlfriend who posted a location geotagged photo in a sister lead instagram post muniz said that the suspect brandished a firearm inside the restaurant demanded items for the victim sources told the times that rock was targeted for his jewelry he shot the victim and ran out the side door to a getaway car and then fled the parking lot when he said the victim was transported to hospital and pronounced dead at 1 59 p.m according to law enforcement sources lapd investigators are examining security video from inside the restaurant to identify the shooter they're also checking surrounding business to see whether security systems captured any images of suspect leaving on foot or in the vehicle 
knowing LA and knowing how people are so hungry and knowing how people are so fame hungry and money hungry and all that malarkey it wouldn't be surprising if we end up seeing the video from the inside it's going to be troubling and horrible I'm going to obviously try my best to avoid seeing it because I don't want to see somebody lose their life it's horrible it's it's, it's better when you see those kind of videos and you don't know the outcome when you find out the person passed away flipping tears you apart but now obviously with somebody that i'm actually a fan of i wouldn't want to see a video like that so i'm going to try to avoid it at all you know at all costs but don't be surprised if this video does end up leaking um because i'm assuming all roscoe's have cctv inside so for sure there's going to be a cctv camera that picked up what happened exactly you know um from the from the time the guy went into the time the guy left it continues rock was born december 9th 1999 1991 so in philadelphia he told paper magazine he was inspired to make music at age of 19 after hearing drake's defining take here rock's ability to blend melodies with rapping had made him a natural fit for hip hop's next evolution he gained national prominence with his hit single called fleek turning the viral vine video into an anthem and for women uh, doing up the appearances across the street across the country sorry he went on to collaborate with bevy of artists including ed sheeran chance rapper on cross me one of the biggest moments came alongside atlanta rapper wife and lucci when the two joined forces for the 2016 for the victorious anthem every day we lit the song picked at number 33 on the billboard hot 100 the biggest chance song for either artist it's like what do you label yourself when you still infuse rap in your shit see top packing magazine people can't say i'm a rapper but i don't feel like i'm a singer either i'm not hitting super high notes and going crazy i can't give you chris brown singing i just got good melodies selfish peaked at number 51 on billboard 100 and rock released his latest single love me again in september the second now the really tragic part about this whole story involves obviously the girlfriend or the baby mother or the wife whatever um his lady Essentially, what's been going around now is people sharing pictures of her sharing a geotagged image of Debbie eating Roscoe chickens and waffles um, on her Instagram stories. And the story goes that allegedly the goons, I guess, had the drop on them through her Instagram account. They ran up into the store, so they ran up into the restaurant, and that's what ended up happening in terms of him getting shot. So in a weird way, people are now blaming her for the shooting. Now, the unfortunate part of it is that it looks like in LA, considering all these high profile incidents that have happened from people getting robbed, and this is not only hip hop, there's, I've seen videos of guys getting pulled out of their cars and robbed for their watches. I've seen people getting robbed of their cars, white or black. Um, the guy who owns, what is that? Fashion Nova, one of those sites got involved in something also recently in terms of a jacking. Clearly there's something going on in LA. Maybe it's a poverty, maybe it's a post pandemic world. Maybe it's just people being hungry and starving in general, but there has been a real uptick in terms of the robberies that have been happening over there in LA. And it's safe to say that the robberies that happen in LA are very lethal. It's not like stuff you've hear in other states. Um, things don't, you know, people don't just beat you up and take your stuff. They beat, they, they take your stuff and they kill you or they just kill you and don't take your stuff. That's what happened with Pop Smoke, do you know what I mean? Sometimes it could be a robbery gone bad, then they just kill you just because. So if that's the case and you're somebody prominent or you're somebody wealthy, you just have to move correctly. You cannot move where you are doing what some people do, where they share every minute play by play update on what they're doing with their lives on social media. And I never understood that. And this is coming from somebody that's on every single social media platform that exists. Um, but after a certain time, you have to be a little bit more coy and a little bit more um, reserved and kind of chill when it comes to your digital footprint or social media footprint. You can't be having people knowing exactly where you're at minute by minute. It just seems to me, it just seems a bit lame. It just seems a bit nosy. And also in terms of just safety protocols, it's just not the proper way to move especially if you're a female i'd imagine maybe as a guy you can maybe handle yourself a little bit better but as a woman you should really be careful about where you're sharing your location or especially sharing pictures maybe not geotagging it um, so people can't look exactly locate where you are um to the exact kind of point location and unfortunately if you're a rapper you just have no days off there is no such thing as taking it easy today if you're going to take it easy today you just have to stay at home you can't afford to move sloppy especially if you don't have security because there's one thing having security it's one thing not having your own gun on you it's one thing not having a bulletproof vest but if you're going to be moving around on your own you have to be moving around correctly that means not updating your social media on the go maybe updating your location and where you are at the day after maybe two days later i know i do it for myself there's a trend at the moment with a lot of people where they go on a holiday and they will purposely not update anything and update it all when they get back to make it seem like they were there far longer than what they were actually there for but 
there is just a general safety protocol thing about it for me where I usually would update my stories or my post like the day after. Do you know what I mean? Always a day after, always kind of a day late. So there's no kind of exact pinpoint time as to when I got there, when I didn't get there. So if somebody was trying something crazy, nothing would happen that way because it'd be hard to pin, pin me down. And then it also brings me to that last point in terms of just, I'm, I'm a real big believer in operating in the world as is. Like I would love to live in a utopia. You know, I speak about that often when it comes to dance music. I I always sometimes have this really naive idea that dance music um or night clubbing or sorry or nightlife or going clubbing is a really great kind of platform to sort of create that kind of utopia where you can kind of make it the safest and best place that people can ever go to but i also aware that I've covered many stories here involving people in the nightlife industry who have done some really heinous crimes and what that's kind of awoke, what that's kind of made me realize is that for the most part monsters exist everywhere they exist in every part of our lives every part of our world every part of our society and it always will exist as long as we have uh, a, a somewhat of a god a heavenly figure we're always going to have a devil somebody that's going to make people do bad and evil things if that's the case then you have to kind of move in the world as is and be aware and acknowledge that monsters are there to take advantage of any lapse in concentration that you have and once they do take that lapse in concentration your consequences could be lethal so instead of trying to just say oh i'm going to take it easy i'm going to chill no maybe be on point at all times because it legitimately could cost you your life and you know we don't know the circumstances around it maybe who knows somebody working at Wolf roscoe chicken and waffles maybe hit up somebody and told them hey i got the drop on flipping pmb rock he's here with all his jewels on you never know it might not have had anything to do with that girl's picture at all but in terms of how she must feel now just imagine how pmb rock's flipping lady feels if she's the one responsible for it especially when you look at pmb rock's latest um or last sort of twitter video that he put out where he's sort of driving around in a car actually his girl's driving the car and he's kind of in a passenger seat flossing with his got with his shiny watch on and his nice chain like imagine how bad she must feel because clearly they were close enough where he'd share you know videos of her driving his car because you know how rappers are they don't really like to claim women unless they're really really serious with them so the fact that he was all she was all over his page made it seem as if they were very close i'm pretty sure they have a kid together also but that's obviously not guaranteed they're going to be close but still there's a video on his on his twitter now at the moment one of his last videos he uploaded essentially of them having a great time but you know unfortunately in this world you just can't move like that especially if you're involved in hip-hop especially if you're black especially if you live in la not even black if you're just prominent like i said i've seen videos of like white dudes getting pulled out of maseratis and people trying to jack their watches it's absolutely crazy over there in la and again i would love to actually know if anybody of my fans are um from la what do you think the cause of this is because there's generally been a uptick in robberies and whatever there was a story obviously that kid getting shot outside of a sneaker store with some sneakers there was a story of some random girl i think works in a furniture store getting stabbed up by some stranger he just walked in and started stabbing her and obviously she unfortunately passed away there's this story that happened there's been some crazy stories obviously the pop smoke thing was obviously a really a big deal and it just doesn't seem to end i wonder why like what's going on do you think i'd love to know if you're kind of down there um on the ground level to let me know what your insights are what you've learned what people are talking about so i can kind of have a little bit more insight on this but regardless r.i.p pmb rockman absolute young legend gone too soon taken away from us in an absolutely tragic way um shouldn't have gone out that way from what i've seen and from what i've heard he was a really cool guy he didn't deserve to go out the way he went out to the way he went out but hopefully this also serves a lesson to other rappers out there that you have to move accordingly because like i said this guy wasn't heavenly entrenched in the gangs he kind of always rolled on his ones or on his own or with his kind of small group of team or with him according to people that i've read or listened to on the internet they've kind of said whenever they bumped into him away from the stage he would always like you know solo dolo of just a couple of people so he clearly was just chilling enjoying his life making the music that he loves so if it something like that could happen to him just imagine if you're somebody that's throwing up gang signs and shit and you're heavily you know uh tied to the streets from that stuff you really have to make sure you move accordingly so r.i.p pmb rock for some feelings go out to all his family and friends praise to his family and friends praise to his girl i hope she stays away from the internet for a long time six months or more because it's going to be absolutely brutal and there are people blaming her um for his death which obviously is completely unfair but she hopefully she has a good you know team of people around her that can kind of tell her to kind of chill out and not be on the internet too much and yeah man just r.i.p man r.i.p what a tragic way to go what an absolute tragic tragic way to go